Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. And welcome to Resident Evil 3 Remake, uh, PS5 Edition. Um, I did Resident Evil 2. I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, for the PS5 Edition. And I'm eventually going to do the Resident Evil 7 as well. Um... <clears throat> You know, I figured I would do these videos because I recently got a, you know, PS5. And we played through two and three remakes um, on the PS4, of course, because that's what they came out for. Um, so I figured we would play, you know, a little bit of each game. And, uh, you know, we would see the differences. Um, two had, obviously, the ray chasing. Where it didn't look bad. It didn't look amazing, but it didn't look bad. Um, I was very disappointed with the bathrooms. I was really, really, really hoping to have a ref reflection in the mirror. Um, but they still didn't have the mirror. They still had that weird fuzzy, you know, ness to them where you didn't have the reflection, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, to be honest, I really can't see three changing all that much, I can't see there being a huge difference, or even <laughs> probably less of a difference than 2 had. Um, because Resident Evil 3 um, <coughs> visually uh, looks a bit better than uh, Resident Evil 2. Not by much, not by much of course, but um, obviously with it being uh, a year older <coughs> than Resident Evil 3, or Resident Evil 2, um, you know, there's a little bit of a you know, visual difference looks, looks a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> that being said, yeah, I can't see there being much of a difference. You know, if anything, it's just going to be uh, the HDR. So, like, the lighting and the darkness. Um, maybe some reflections. But other than that, I mean, of course, obviously the loading times and stuff too. But I mean, like, other than that, Visually, I can't see there being, you know, any really difference. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a difference, or maybe no difference at all. I don't know. Um, going to here, it says continue because I was actually recording this video. Um, and then I got uh, interrupted, so I wasn't able to. Something popped up on the screen or something, and I was like, ah, man. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but something popped up on the screen, you know, and it threw me off. Uh, so... But yeah, um, <clears throat> I do want to, actually, before we start this, I do actually want to say something. Um, so, starting the, either the 24th or 25th of this month, uh, I mean, I don't have, I know I haven't been doing videos a lot lately. I mean, I think the last video I uploaded was, I think, Horizon uh, Forbidden West when you were fighting the... Uh, the snake, the um, slither, something I can't remember. Um, but before that was God of War with the glitch. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've done like a series video. Um, but starting the twenty fourth or twenty fifth of this month, I think video videos are going to be probably even might be even more uh, infrequent. <clears throat> uh, it's not because I don't want to, but it's because I'm actually, um, I've been, you know, back at school, so that's why videos have been um, very few and far between lately. Um, so, you know, I've been quite busy and, and stuff like that. Um, and the co-op starts on the, the 24th or 25th, and it's full, full eight-hour days and stuff like that as well. Uh, so, <clears throat> I don't know when, you know, I'll be able to upload and blah, 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 blah. So I just want to apologize to you guys and let you guys know why what's going on in the background as to why videos haven't been uploaded because in the past, for quite a while, videos were coming out, boom, 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 boom. And then, like, the last, probably, uh, a little bit before Chris, yeah, a little bit before Christmas is when video production started to, you know, kind of very, very much slowed down. Um, and that's the reason, because I actually started at school uh, in November. Um, and it stops, and I think uh, the co-op and all that stuff stops on 
sometime in April, I think. Uh, but hopefully something comes out of it because, you know, uh, the classes and stuff have been really good and really nice and some nice people that I've met and all that. So it's, it's going very well. Um, but I guess I wanted to tell you guys what's going on. Um, so it's not like I don't want to do videos or anything like that. You know, I'm, I'm doing videos. I like making videos for you guys. Uh, my Horizon one got a lot of views. A lot of people enjoyed that video. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so enough of that. Let's get into Resident Evil 3. Let's start a new game here. And uh, let's see the differences. Personally, like I said, I don't think there's going to be much difference or if any difference at all except for the lighting and reflections and stuff, but I don't, don't think the graphics are going to be any different, because they look, even right now, they look the same to me. Um, so let's go in here, let's quickly do this. I'm so used to speed running this game, like it's crazy. Alright, so now she's really, really awake, let's turn on the uh, light here. Okay, so I don't like how it's fuzzy. Is there any way to change the fuzziness or whatever? Let's go to display here. Um, oh, okay, so you know what? Let's do a test here. Okay, so what I'm at, what I, okay. So let's walk around the room here. Okay, so the HDR is on, so we'll take a look, walk around here like this. You know, lighting looks really nice, and darks look nice, and too, and all right, so let's go like this. Uh, which is really nice that I can do it in this one, because in Resident Evil 2, I couldn't change the HDR on and off on the fly. Um, which is really cool. So let's see the difference here. Yeah, alright, alright. So let's see here, it looks kind of, kind of fuzzy, you know, um... Let's turn it on now. Whoops. Yeah, that looks that looks much better. Okay. Um, I still don't really like how it's fuzzy. Is there any way I can change that? Graphics. I can't turn change any graphics or anything. I don't know if it has that <clears throat> weird fuzziness to it. For you guys or not, maybe it's just because it's in first person. I don't know. Hopefully it'll change. Let's check inside the fridge here. Open the fridge door. Or don't. Jill. Oh, that's nice. Um, so we got the reflection of the uh, the pop bottle and the bakery bread along the wall there. That's pretty cool. Um, actually, in the options, when you can turn on and off the... Um, the ray tracing, because uh, I, I had to turn it on before uh, I started the video. And this is actually the, the test um, display picture that pops on, and you see the difference. Um, if I had the ray tracing turned off, uh, it would just be that dark wall. You wouldn't actually uh, see a difference. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's go in here. Turn on the light. There we go. All right, let's go in here. Look at that. Yeah, still has that weird fuzziness to it. I don't know why. What the hell is that thing? So, I mean, all in all, it doesn't look all that different. It looks pretty much the same to me right now. Kind of, you know, expected that. So the interesting thing is you can actually watch this guy and he'll fall down and, you know, he actually makes a splatter, which is kind of weird. So, like, if you don't want to see, you know, look away. The fuck? I don't remember. Where the hell did that guy come from? Let's reload that. Can we reload that? What the hell? What the hell? I knew about the other guy. Okay, I know about that guy. Oh, that guy. He's 
trying to go through the window. Is he the one who follows? Oh, he is. Okay, so now you guys can look back now if, uh, you know, that stuff bothered you. All right, so let's move forward. So again, yeah, doesn't look any different. I mean, the lighting, the, the light reflection of the fire looks nice. Oh, you can hear machine gun sounds. I never noticed that before. That's cool. Okay. Oh no. Okay, let's go. Ooh, that's nice. The HDR is doing really nice on this. The light in the dark from the fire reflections and all that. That looks really cool. All right. So that was that was pretty cool. Cause it's not that uh, not that dark in uh, PS4 one. All right. Oh, that's cool. It's a breath reflection in the the water. It's like Arclay on steroids. So there's one thing I never actually got a chance to talk about in the video. Um, oh, sorry about the yawn. You know, I get up really early in the morning. Um. This container is actually Nemesis's Nemesis's <laughs> uh, Nemesis's container. This logo, this logo I should have known. Oh, she sure, actually says it. Okay. Um, so this is the container, the drop pod container that Nemesis comes out of. That's cool. Okay, I want to see the. There's a little bit of reflection. That's cool. Might run past these zombies. Alright, so let's take a look. Can I not open the menu? Okay. Um, let's take a look here. Handgun looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice. I won't be getting the shotgun in this video because you get the shotgun a little bit later. Looks pretty nice. Apparently my controller is low. Oh well. I want to see that Nemesis cutscene with Carlos. I want to see how that looks on the PS5. I was so disappointed in this part. Man, like I was really hoping we could go up the stairs. Because if you guys remember in the original Resident Evil 3, you actually start off up there, like after you escape from the zombies. Um, you know, you come up there and that's where the save room is and blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. What the hell? Ooh. That's, uh... That's gross. I never had that happen before. I never noticed there was a hole in the ceiling either, though. Hmm. Zombie, bye bye. All right. 
Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm interested to see if they've changed or updated that scene at all. Shit. Oh no, run around a zombie. It's so hard to do. Okay. This part makes no sense. Like, there's no rocket or anything that literally hits it. I guess it's gonna blow us up for no reason. With the controller vibrates like crazy, you guys can probably hear it. <laughs> Alright, skip. Ooh, the fire looks real nice. <laughs> I love that. So there's, oh wow, that's cool. So that's that's a major uh, improvement, that's for sure, for the ray tracing, the um, reflection. Oh man, that is so cool. Actually, I like that. One thing that's really nice. One okay, another thing I really have to give Resident Evil Three as well is it's very well optimized. I'll give it that. Because um, when I had the uh, ray tracing effect turned on on the Resident Evil Two, I did notice a lot of like it did lag down. Like it was there was noticeable lag uh, when you played the game. <coughs> um, never seen anything like that. But this one, there's no no lag at all. <coughs> Sorry, no lag at all or anything. Um, but like I said, that's one thing I really did like. Of all the flaws that Resident Evil 2 had, or sorry, of all the flaws that Resident Evil 3 had, um, it's very well optimized and plays very, very well. Even on, even on PC that isn't uh, very well, um, oh wow, well, look at that. Oh, that is cool. For infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. The talking is really annoying. That's really cool, the reflection in the water and all that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I get, I get distracted by little things now. Um, but like I was saying, so Resident Evil 3 is, uh, it is, it's really well <coughs> optimized, like I said, especially on, um, on PC. Because I played the demo for this on my computer. And I don't have, like, a high-end PC. I don't have, like, the greatest graphics and blah, blah, blah. I don't have all that stuff. Um, you know, it's it's a good computer, but it's not, like, the best or the most, like, amazing or anything like that. You know? Oh, that's so fucking cool. That's fucking awesome. Holy shit, man. <laughs> oh. I love that. That's really, that's oh, awesome as hell. I know. <laughs> um... Yeah, so <laughs> as I was saying about that, um, my my computer can run the demo um, for three quite quite well. Um, so it is, it's very well optimized. So I'll give it that. Yeah, there were, but it's um, yeah, there's no lag, no slowdown, slowdown or anything like that um, that I've noticed um, with the uh, ray tracing on, which is really really nice. Whereas, like I said, Resident Evil Two, it was noticeable. Um, I would turn the camera, and it was a little, little bit jerky. Just time it, you know, just a little bit. The frames definitely suffered because of the ray tracing. But on Resident Evil 3 here, it doesn't seem to be um, uh, suffering at all, which is pretty good. Ooh, that feels really nice. The shooting. Uh, with the dual sense controller. Alright, let's just drop all these things in here. I'm probably going to continue this save file. So, let's go. 
Oh no, zombie, whichever shall I do? Fuck off, zombie. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. I forgot about the dodge mechanic. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just run. I actually want to kill this guy because I want to see if there's any reflections on, like, on these windows or anything. Well, that's her shadow. Um. No, I guess not. That's okay. Is that a motorcycle right here? If that was, that could have been Claire's. I never noticed that before. I'll have to start a new game and see if I hear that again. And if I do hear that again, maybe I'll make a tiny little blip video or whatever. I don't know. All right, so let's see if there's any more reflections on these windows. Okay, so the frames are a little bit slower, I can notice. Kind of suffering a little bit, just like <clears throat> two was. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to save this up, just go to the uh, coffee shop down here and save it up, and yeah. And I think that'll be the end of the video, because there's not much really to, to show. Um, okay, let's do that. Okay, let's just take a look in here. Yeah, it's not all that much of a difference. Oh, right. I have to get you. And the music in the background, I don't know if you guys can hear the radio music or not, but it's actually the bonus um, ending music for Resident Evil 2. Uh, the original Resident Evil 2, I think it only plays... I think it plays on the B scenario. That's pretty cool. All right. Alrighty, so let's save this up here. So, like I expected, I mean, with the exception of her... Did they add to this one? No. Oh. I mean, they did a little bit. But you can barely see it, which kind of sucks. Um, yeah, so let's just save this up here. So... Let's end this here. So my basic, my final verdict: um, the lighting is really nice. Uh, you know, like the light and dark and all that's really nice. Uh, the ray tracing is pretty cool. I really like how, um, you know, she reflects off of like the the movie poster um, cases, whatever they're called, um, frames. So that looks really cool. Um, <clears throat> again, I was kind of hoping that she would reflect in the, the bathroom window, uh, or sorry, in the bathroom uh, mirror, but she didn't. It's just her shadow is moving. Um, but yeah, other than those two things, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, but again, this not a huge difference at all, really. Um, when Resident Evil 4 comes out, um, we'll definitely do a comparison. Um, <clears throat> because I ordered the PS4 edition, uh, I got, I got the deluxe edition, so, um, uh, we'll have all the special stuff, it's gonna be really fun, it's gonna be really cool, um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll do a comparison PS4 one to PS5 one, because I actually ordered the PS4 one, uh, because at the time I didn't have a PS5, um, and from my understanding, uh, Capcom is also giving a free upgrade for Resident Evil 4, so it's going to be pretty cool. I can't see there being a huge difference in Resident Evil 4, kind of like Resident Evil 3, because 
the PS4 is still a damn good system. Um, don't care what anybody says. PS4, uh, PS4 Pro, you're still hands down, still really great. Um, I actually have Horizon Zero or Forbidden West. Actually, I have Zero Dawn too, but I have Forbidden West, and I uh, want to do a comparison. I want to actually download it on the PS4, and I guess did a full playthrough of it on the PS5. So I want to do full playthrough on the PS4, and I want to see how much of a difference there actually is, because that game looks beautiful and it's amazing. And uh, the end got the, the, a lot of people are mixed on the end, um, but you know I'll do a whole video of Justin Talks games on on Horizon um, because we're talking about Resident Evil 3 right now, so I don't want to get sidetracked because I know I will. Um, so I'll do a video if I remember if I remember. Because, like I said, I'm quite busy these days. Um, I'll try and do a Justin Talks games about Horizon uh, Forbidden West. Um, and, you know, it'll be fun. Uh, maybe on the weekend. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, um, <clears throat> if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys in my next video.